In the previous video, I talked about how either helps in providing feedback when some error happens in your application. In this video, we will see this in practice. Same as before, let's try our example from the previous video. Let's define a function divide to if even. It's going to receive a number and it's going to return a number. What it does is going to divide 2 by the input. But we have some edge cases. First thing is we cannot divide by 0. In that case, we are going to throw an exception, cannot divide by 0. The other case that we want to check is if our input is even or odd. In case our input is not an even number, we want to throw an exception saying num is not even. Otherwise, let's return our good value. Trying this, divide to if even, for example, with value 8, we get 0.25 on the right. If we try this with one of our edge cases, value zero, for example, we get an error saying cannot divide by zero. Trying with an odd number, we get an error that says num is not even. Okay. As you see divide to if even, is a partial function because it's not defined over value zero and odd numbers. We already know that we don't work with partial functions in functional programming. So we need to convert divide to if even to a total function. One way we learned previously is to return option and none, but we will lose our error messages. We need to somehow preserve the errors. To do that, let's define a type constructor either. Either can be left of type E to preserve our bad case or right of type A for our good case. So error itself is in type E and our good value is in type A. Next, let's define left and right. Left of E is simply going to wrap a value of type E and right, same as left, simply is going to wrap the value of type A. Next, what we need to do is the same thing that we did with option. We need to add something to distinguish between left and right in runtime. We are doing this with a tag property. I'm going to remove some of these spaces and this is either. We need two more helper functions. One for wrapping our values in left, wrapping our errors in left, and the other one is to wrapping our values, good values in right. Let's start with left. Left is a generic function. It's going to receive an error of type E and what it's going to return is either of E and A. What it is going to return is something of type of form and shape of left. So tag left and left is going to be E. One thing to add here and improve is that we are not using the A type, so we can default it to never. Let's do the same thing for right, right function. It's going to be a generic function. It's going to receive a value of type A 
and it's going to return in either of E and A. And what it is going to return is something of a shape right. Right A. All right. And same as left, we are not using the E type, so we can default it to an empty set of values, which is never. Cool. Next, let's redefine our function divide to if even uh, with our either. Either type constructor. Divide to if even. Let's call this one second. It's going to receive a number. But this time, instead of returning a number, we are going to return an either of what is our error type here is a string and what is our good value it's number in case of zero we know instead of throwing an error now we are going to return a left of our error message which is cannot divide by zero The other case we want to check is if our input is not even. So in that case, instead of throwing an error, we're going to return a left of num is not even. Otherwise, for our valid cases, we are going to return right of our good value 2 divided by num let's try this Goes log divide 2 if even 2 trying this with value 8 now we are getting point 25 wrapped in right console log our edge case zero we are going to get cannot divide by zero error message now inside the left doing the same thing with our value for example with three an odd number again we are going to get an error message num is not even wrapped in left All right, this is either. Next, let's try to compose divide to if even second with another function. And what function we are talking about? Our good old increment function. So increment, it's going to receive a number and it's going to return a number. Increment of type increments is going to receive a number and it's going to increment it by one let's compose this and let's call the composed function composed <laughs> and what it does first it's going to divide our input with divide to if even second and then output of divide to if even second is going to be fed into increments let's add the compose if you want to have a refresh please look at composing function video compose.ts all right But as you see, compiler is not happy. The reason is output of divide to if even second is either, but input of increment is number. The output of divide to if even second is not matched with increment. How can we do this? There is a beautiful and clean way called functors, but we are not there yet. 
So let's handle this by hand manually. So instead of increment, we say we are passing a lambda function, a function receives x, which is of type either of a string and number. And we need an extra tool here. And that tool is a function that is going to help us distinguish between left and right. Actually, let's add this a little bit in, on the top in here. Let's call this function is left. And what it does, it's a generic function, e and a, it's going to receive an input of type either e and a, and it's going to return a boolean telling us if the x is left or it's not left. This is the safeguard in TypeScript, so we want to say x is left of e. And how does it work is it's going to look at x.tag. And if this is left, we are saying that x is left. It's returned true. If the input passed to is left, is actually left. <laughs> All right. Now let's get in back to our compose function. First thing we want to do, we want to check is the input left? If the either that we are receiving is left, then we're simply going to return x. Otherwise, we want to unwrap our right value, increment it, and wrap it again in right. Let me clean this up a little bit. Putting this one here. Let's put this one here and this one here. If we try this, console log composed with value 8, we are going to get 1.25 wrapped in right. If we try this with our edge case 0, we are getting our error message, cannot divide by 0, wrapped in left. And if we try compose with an odd number, we get an error message. Our error message num is not even, wrapped in left. All right. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please like and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one.